Indianapolis 500, the greatest spectacle in racing, just five days away, and you can watch the race on our sister station, WDTN, this Sunday. Joining us right now, taking the green flag in the number 25 U.S. Air Force Honda is Connor Daly. Joining us right now, Connor, it's great to have you with us. I, I want to talk you. about turn one. <laughs> because so many people talk about how turn one on lap one at the Indy 500 is the toughest turn in all of racing. This is going to be your sixth race, so you're familiar with it. What's that turn like? Well, last year I started dead last, so it was like a vacuum. Uh, 33, 32 cars in front of you, um, it's like the craziest thing ever. You, you're literally off the throttle and almost on the brakes, but you're still being dragged into the corner by the massive air vacuum that's sucking you into the first corner. So. Now I'm starting 11th, which is like right at the front, which would be really nice. So, uh, you know, totally different situation this year, and I'm like really, really pumped about it. So yeah, I can't you, wait. You mentioned that last year, starting dead last, completely different experience this yeah. year, starting in the middle of row four. The speed was there for at least 10 miles. 500 is a different beast altogether. What has to happen for you to be drinking the milk at the end of 500 miles? Well, honestly, I mean, we feel pretty good. We were we were quickest on Fast Friday. We qualified 11th, so the car is is strong. We know it's got pace. We practiced yesterday. Um, again, super racy in the pack. We were, uh, you know, we were making moves on people, uh, which is which is really encouraging. So, you know, we've got one more day left to uh, to tune up the car a little bit. Carb day on Friday. Um, so there'll be small things that we gotta gotta be prepared for. I think it's probably gonna be you know hot on race day. It usually is. Um, and, and that's when the cars are the toughest to drive is when it's that hot. So, so we'll have to just sort of tune for that as we look at the weather and, and hopefully Friday it'll be hot so we can sort of test something that might help us on Sunday, but we'll see. Well, this past Sunday your turn laps nearly 230 miles per hour. You were born to race, the son of <laughs> Derek Daly. I remember watching your dad at the Indy 500 as well. Yeah. I'm curious to know your first encounter with speed. When you were going fast as a kid and you thought, I want to follow in dad's footsteps. I assume I was being taken in road cars very fast when I was young. I was being taken to school by my dad. He was pulled over by the police a lot um, and always pulled <laughs> Did he ever over. drop the, do you know who I am? Thing? Literally every single time. Yeah. And so since then, I have never done that because I was like, I don't want to be that guy because every single time he was like, hey, I don't know if you've heard of me, but I'm Derek Daly. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this guy's pulling this card again. Sometimes he got away with it, sometimes he didn't. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, my whole family loves racing. My mom works at the track. Uh, my, my stepdad is president of the Speedway. I mean, everyone, everyone in my family is fully immersed in, in the racing environment, and we just love it. And, it's, and it's, it's a huge family event as well. We all love going out to the Indianapolis 500 every year. I don't mean to drop this on you, but your dad's best finish is 12th. <laughs> your best finish is 21st. So I'm wondering, yeah. are you racing against dad or are you racing against 32 other Sunday? Well, to be honest, I've had a lot more bad luck than my dad has had at the Indy 500. So we're, we're, we're going to have a good day Sunday. It's, we're in a great spot right now. The Andretti Autosport team is, um, is an incredible group of people, and, and they've given me a fantastic race car, and, uh, and I can't wait to use it. I mean, we, we've improved every day so far. I mean, we're in a position to where we, we do think we have a shot at the win, and, and that's, that's where we want to be. We just have to execute on Sunday. Mentioned that you're driving the U.S. Air Force car. You're in town today. You're going to be over at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Now, you haven't been there, but I, but I know you've yeah. heard a lot about it. Yeah, I mean, I've never been. I can't believe it, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to go check it out, hear about it. I've heard about it for, you know, for a long time. Even, even when I told some of the team guys that I was coming here today, they were like, oh, man, you're going to love it. It's going to be it's, a, it's an amazing place. So I, I can't wait to get there, check it out, obviously. Um, you know, learn some more about the history of the Air Force, obviously, and, and, uh, and, and I just, it'll be just take it in. Connor's going to be piloting the U.S. Air Force number 25 Honda this Sunday in the 103rd running of the greatest spectacle in racing. Connor, thank you so much for being with us. And don't forget, coming up right here on Dayton CW this Saturday, you can catch the countdown to Indy at 11 a.m., Learn about all the great traditions, including the jug of milk that come with 200 laps and get you ready for the greatest spectacle in racing.